Hello world, welcome to The Breakup Diaries. My name is Ashley Collins and I'm about to embarrass myself a little bit. I'm obsessed with accents and kind of impersonation, but I'm not like too good at it. So we're gonna try this out, okay? <sighs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. That's the thing for today. The fact that you know nothing. I think that education can tend to be a bit dangerous because we go into things assuming that we know everything you don't know everything you actually don't know anything um imagine that your life is like a little dot this is hair gel but this is your life right you um you have your mom you have your dad you have your siblings you have your uh your close friends you have your best friends then you have like your associates then you have your co-workers then um you have little tiny micro goals, right? You want to get a car. You want to work on your credit. You want to travel to Hawaii. You want to see Dubai. And then once you achieve all these things, what's next? And I think that for me, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out, I mean, maybe that's why I'm like, my life is, is so on right now, but what's a success to me? To me, there's no, there's no finish line for success. To me, like I want to continually always be learning new things. And if I go into a situation knowing everything, then I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong room, right? Because each individual, not just my coworkers or just my friends, but every stranger can teach me a new thing. Um, everything that you think you know is based off of assumptions. And I know that what you're probably thinking, I read a lot of books and I, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. No, you're, our, our mind is designed to protect us from things that, um, that we assume is dangerous. For example, for example, um, I'm not going to jump off of my roof, right? Because my mind is like, no, there's no harness. There's, you're going to die, right? But um, I, was, I used to, when I had a TV, I used to love watching Survivor and Naked and Afraid. And I would always root for the underdog. And um, as I was getting dressed, I was like, why was I rooting for the underdog? Because the person who said that they know it all, oh, I've been camping since I was 10 years old. I was a fucking Boy Scout, blah, blah, blah. The person that thinks they know everything is limited. The person that doesn't know anything, the person that's... uh. That's so like a stay-at-home mom or a teacher. They took a bite of that humble pie and realized. They like expanded their minds that, oh, I already know what I'm doing. And they have like a much stronger why that I need to prove to myself that I can do this. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so fascinating? Um, nothing interesting happens from knowing. It comes from not knowing. I was talking to my mentor today and... um. I was like, man, like, I don't know how much money I should invest in this thing. Like, like, am I just being cheap or am I being stupid? I don't want to get scammed. And he said that when you're stuck in a quarter and you have no but corner and you have no budget, that's when you're forced to be your most creative. Right? Don't you think so? Don't you think that what is it like to do no budget something? And then when you finally see it, you're like, oh, I didn't even, it looked like it was like a, a thousand dollar project. <sighs> That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, I was, I took notes. Oh, I can put it right here. Can you, can you see my notes? <laughs> the thing that you don't know will eventually be a very big deal in your story. Oh, let me say that one more time. The thing that you don't know will eventually be a very big deal in your story. I think people that are... And, and I'm not saying wing it, just don't, don't wing it in life. You need to write down those details in order to not go into things uncertain. You have to know those things that, uh, this, is not, this sounds so backwards, but you have to know the things that you don't know in order to know those things. And I feel like that didn't make any sense, but I feel like that made some sense to some people. Don't go into situations thinking that you're the fixer, that you're going to solve everything, that you're the missing link, that if anything, it'll stifle you and you won't be able to grow. There's no finish line in life. There's just 
those big leaps to become your greater self. For me, working on this project that I'm working on and doing this, I never, I mean, I have my, my daily goals, which is like to post, to, um, to work, to work out. But at the end of the day, I want to contribute and be of service to somebody, at least one person a day, one spoonful at the water at a time, picking up one piece of litter at, at a time to save an animal, to save someone's life. That's, to me, I guess naively and foolishly is the purpose of life. So, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Are you always going to be quoting Game of Thrones forever? Well, as long as it's going to be around, I'm probably going to be continuing to quote Game of Thrones. Um, Egret was a uh, very determined character in Game of Thrones. And she would tell John, you know nothing. Because although he was, he was raised with this, he was raised a noble, even though he wasn't treated as such. And they taught him in the books what life beyond the castle book, life beyond the wall is like. And then when he finally got there, he had all these assumptions of how things would be. And that's when she said, you know nothing. You know nothing about life outside of your little circle, outside, outside of your little bubble. Go, explore, try different things. And then you realize that there is so much more than this little bubble. And just the fact that you're watching this, shows that you want more don't resist it don't be afraid don't resist the uncertainty if anything welcome it He's like yes this is a great fucking learning experience yes this is a great learning opportunity i'm going to bring what i have to the table and i'm going to meet you where you are i'm going to end with um oh my god egret's last words to john snow You remember that cave, Jon Snow? We should have stayed in that cave. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I think that was good. I think that was good. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want to. You really don't have to, though, but you should. But you don't have to. I want to make you do something you don't want to do. Um, you should follow me on Instagram at the aunt of dragons um uh, my twitter is at the aunt of dragon and if you want to find me on facebook i think it's pretty easy to find me on facebook now i think i've broken the algorithm finally <laughs> it only took me a fucking year um just type in ashley collins and i'm the black girl with the hair <laughs> smile and thank god it's friday